Cryptocurrency is not a threat to conventional finance at the moment. Deputy Governor of the Bank of England John Cunliffe stated that cryptocurrencies may pose a concern only if they go from retail to wholesale. Deputy Governor of the Bank of England John Cunliffe has dismissed the meteoric rise in popularity of cryptocurrencies, claiming they represent no threat to traditional banking. The seasoned banker asserted that no cryptocurrency had amassed the volume to be recognized as a system capable of displacing traditional banking anytime soon. While the speculative spike in crypto is obvious, I do not believe it has passed the line into financial stability risk, he told CNBC's Jumana Burstch. There are investor protection concerns here. These are extremely speculative assets, but they are not large enough to jeopardize financial stability, and they are not substantially integrated into the established financial system. If we begin to see those connections develop, if we begin to see it move away from retail and towards wholesale, if we begin to see the financial sector become more exposed, then I believe you will begin to consider risk in that sense. While he described crypto speculating as a practice reserved for retail investors for the time being, he also restated the central bank's position that investors in digital assets should be prepared to lose their entire investment. It reiterated Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey's recent warning to investors, labeling cryptocurrency as having no inherent value. While Mr. Cunliffe indicated that the bank would be concerned if cryptocurrencies moved farther away from retail and towards wholesale, he noted that this would apply only to speculative cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum and not to stablecoins anchored to the US dollar such as Tether. He believes that stablecoins should be controlled and monitored by the government. While Bitcoin is widely recognized as a very volatile currency, having fallen from a record high of $65,000 in April to roughly $32,800 at the time of press, this has not deterred the Bank of England from developing its own digital currency, CBDC, in order to compete with fiat's declining use. China is pioneering one of the most cutting-edge CBDC efforts. While the UK appears to be keeping a level head when it comes to cryptocurrencies, the same cannot be said for China, where officials have ordered cryptocurrency miners in Sichuan province to cease operations. China prohibited domestic cryptocurrency exchanges in 2017, forcing them to relocate to foreign jurisdictions. China is still a ways away from implementing its own CBDC projects, but it has previously conducted trials of the digital yuan in various provinces and cities. The ASEAN Financial Innovation Network, which was formed by Singapore's Monetary Authority, recently indicated its readiness to launch a digital currency sandbox to allow financial institutions and businesses to test CBDC applications. Additionally, the United Arab Emirates Central Bank declared plans to establish its own digital money. This action by the UAE is part of its ambition to put itself among the world's top 10 central banks by 2023 and 2026. Although the UAE was first hesitant to adopt cryptocurrency, it has emerged as one of the top countries and crypto proponents in the recent few years. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.